Hello guys and welcome back to this amazing channel. This is Abhinav. So today we will discuss the uh, contest 939 code forces round 939. We will discuss the problem A, B and C of this particular contest. So I am just discussing the three problems of this contest. Uh, usually I discuss four. Uh, the reason being today the contest was very bad for me. I was able to solve only problem A and B. Uh, actually, uh, why I didn't solve four problems or why I didn't solve even three problems, the reason was problem number C, I was thinking right, my logic was absolutely right, but my implementation was wrong, right? So how I was implementing was very complex, right? So uh, if you will see, uh, I made around nine wrong submissions for this, right? And if you will see my first submission, right? So the logic I have used in the first submission, the, the same is the logic that is used by someone who has done the right. So you can see here, this is the way how he is finding the sum. And this is the way I was also finding the sum. But my implementation was, you know, really uh, complex. What I was doing previously, it was, was really complex, right? And that was the reason uh, I got multiple wrong submissions, right? So, okay, what can we do? But okay, I, I checked the problem, I absolved it. And because the solution was very similar to my logic, I will discuss that. Okay, uh, cool. So let's discuss all the first uh, problems, A, B, C. Uh, uh, so let's discuss the problem number A, which is Nene's game. Uh, in this problem, what it was given to you is, this was actually a problem that I, that I solved using binary search. So the problem was that you are actually given with some value uh, array a first of all you are given with the array a right and the array a contains uh i guess k elements right now what this array a is this array contains k elements and uh, let's say it is uh, 3 comma 5 comma 8 comma 12 comma 15 comma 20 let's say okay now you are given with some values of n right so they are given some values of n means what's the value of n let's say value of n is uh, 5 then it's uh, 8 then it's uh, uh, 10 then it's 20 then it's 35 then it's let's say 50 uh, let, okay let's do it to 35 okay now what uh, nene is doing for each value of n you have to find that after performing some type of operation what will be the remaining values that will be left for example when n is equal to 5 so when n is equal to 5, there will be 5 values. Let's say n1, n2, n3, n4, n5. These are the 5 elements in the array. Okay. Now what question says that? Question says that there are particularly initially n players. Let's say we have 5 players. n1, n2, n3, n4, n5. Okay. Now what Nene will do? Nene can kick out these much numbers of players from that list of players. Means this means he can or she can kick out the third player and the fifth player. And let's say if the fifth player is not present, she cannot kick out. Okay. So for example, if there are five players and Nene can kick out these much number of players means, means she can kick out the third player and she can kick out the fifth player, then eighth player, twelfth player, but they are not present. So it will stop. Now remaining, these are three players remaining. Now they will become N1, N2, N3. Now in the next turn, Nene will again kick third player fifth player is not present so it will not right so finally you can see two players are remaining that's the answer similarly when there are eight players let's say so n1 n2 n3 n4 n5 n6 n7 n8 okay now first c will kick the third player then fifth player then eighth player so now remaining players are one two three four five so five players are remaining now they will again stand in the queue now for these five players, they will again click the third player, the fifth player. Now three players are remaining. Now again, he will click the third player and then just two players are remaining. So again, the answer is two. But obviously answer will not be always two. Okay. Uh, for example, when there are, let's say, uh, 35 players. So currently there are 35 players. Now see guys, when there are 35 players in the first turn, you will see, see, you will only remove those players. Okay, see, if there are 35 players, you cannot remove the 48th player because there is no 48th player, right? So, so the Nene can only remove those players which are less than 35, whose position is less than 35. So, first of all, you will find how many numbers are there in this array. 
हुज वैल्यू इज लेस देन थर्टी फाइव हाउ मेनी नंबर्स आर देयर सो यू कैन सी ऑल द नंबर्स आर हैविंग वैल्यू लेस देन थर्टी फाइव हाउ यू विल फाइंड दैट सो बेसिकली गाइज यू विल फाइंड द अपर बाउंड ऑफ दिस एन सो इफ एन इज थर्टी फाइव यू विल फाइंड द अपर बाउंड ऑफ दिस एन एंड वट एवर इज द इंडेक्स ऑफ द अपर बाउंड विल बी द नंबर ऑफ प्लेयर्स विच आर लेस देन इक्वल थर्टी फाइव यू कैन सी इफ दिस इज द इंडेक्सिंग जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड आई एम एडिंग सिक्स ऑल्सो वाई सी इफ यू विल फाइंड द अपर बाउंड ऑफ थर्टी फाइव सो यू कैन सी दैट अपर बाउंड ऑफ थर्टी फाइव इज नॉट प्रेजेंट मीन्स मीन्स दिस इज नो नंबर ग्रेटर दैन थर्टी फाइव सो द अपर बाउंड विल गिव यू आउटपुट सिक्स इंडेक्स सिक्स इट गिव्स द एंड इंडेक्स राइट दिस मीन्स दिस मीन्स दैट देर आर सिक्स नंबर्स विच आर लेस देन इक्वल थर्टी फाइव दैट मीन्स आउट ऑफ दिस थर्टी फाइव प्लेयर्स सिक्स प्लेयर्स विल बी रिमूव नाउ ट्वेंटी नाइन प्लेयर्स आर लेफ्ट Again for twenty nine players, you will find the lower bound. Again, lower bound will come as six. So again, six players will be removed. Remaining is twenty three. For twenty three also, again what will happen? Six will be the upper bound. Again, six players will be removed. Remaining will be seventeen players. Now for seventeen, if you will see, upper bound will come as twenty. Twenty is at index number five. That means there are five numbers. There are five position in this array A which are less than equal to seventeen. Means You cannot remove the 20th player, but ये सारे player remove हो जाएंगे. You will be able to remove these much, these many players. So means now again minus five equal to 12, right? Now next, there are 12 players, right? Now what will happen? Uh, so yeah, so minus five, 12 players remaining. Now you will find the upper bound of 12. So upper bound of 12 will be 15. We are saying upper bound, not lower bound. Lower bound रहा तो 12 आता. It's fifteen. Means there are four numbers, four position which are less than equal to twelve, right? So those four will be removed. So it will be uh, minus four. Right? Will be minus four. Okay, just a minute. Okay, now now what's the upper bound of eight? So upper bound of eight will be twelve. So how many? Three remove will be five. Upper bound of five is two. Two remove will be three. Upper bound of three is one. One remove will be. So mind you, here two are left at the last. So it's a coincidence that here two are left. Okay. So this is how you you have to do this solution. Okay. But by the way, some are two are left. Isn't it that its output will simply a zero minus one will be? अगर ऐसा हुआ ना मतलब मैं लिटरली बता रहा हूँ मैं कॉन्टेज देना छोड़ दूंगा लेट मी चेक यार ऐसा होगा हाँ यार ऐसा ही होगा उस सेट पता नहीं ऐसा नहीं होगा ऐसा नहीं होगा ऐसा कैसे होगा नहीं 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 ऐसा नहीं हो सकता भाई हाँ ऐसा नहीं ओके फाइन हाँ थोड़ा अलग लॉजिकली मीन्स दिस कैन ऑल्सो बी द लॉजिक ऐसा ही है बाय द वे मिनिमम ऑफ एन कॉमा हाँ सो एक्चुअली देर इज अ बेटर लॉजिक गाइज बाय द वे फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम देर इज अ बेटर लॉजिक एंड लॉजिक इज सिंपली ए फ्रंट माइनस वन सो या मैंने कुछ ज़्यादा ही दिमाग लगा दिया आई डिड इट इन अ वेरी लॉन्ग वे बट द लॉजिक इज दैट द आउटपुट विल बी दिस ओनली द फर्स्ट एलिमेंट माइनस वन बिकॉज आउटपुट हमेशा वही आएगा एग्जैक्टली गाइज एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली सिंपल होगा मैंने बहुत टाइम लगा दिया इसमें तो मैंने कुछ इस तरीके से लिखा था दिस इज ऑल्सो एक्सेप्टेड बिकॉज टेस्ट केस वॉज लो सो डेज कॉन्ट्रेस वॉज वेरी 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 बैड फॉर मी यार बहुत ज़्यादा बहुत ज़्यादा गंदा हुआ मतलब द सिंपल सोल्यूशन वॉज मिनिमम ऑफ एन कॉमा ए जीरो माइनस वन सिंपल 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 और मैंने क्या किया ये किया कुछ कोई बात नहीं uh, होता है कभी कभी पता नहीं मैं क्या कर रहा था भाई मैं कहाँ मेरा दिमाग था आज वो एक्चुअली कुछ था बट कोई नहीं कोई नहीं नाउ सी गाइज द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम नंबर बी नैन एन द कार्ड गेम अब सी गाइज दिस कार्ड गेम आई होप इसमें मैंने 
this this i did in a good way this i didn't uh, did in a very long way so basically the thing is in the card game they are saying that there are two n cards and in this two n cards the cards are numbered from 1 to n so basically for each number there are two cards present for example if n is 6 means there are two card for 1 two card for 2 two card for 3 two card for 4 number two card for 5 and two cards for 6 right this is what is given to you now what you will, now what it is asking is what it is asking from you is uh that uh what it is asking from you is that uh he these two n cards are distributed between you and nene so n cards you have n cards nene has now what will happen let's say this is a table right so if in the table if there is already a card present let's say there is a card of number x present and if you also put the card of number x means you got one points right and nene also will got one point if he, if she will do the same so nene will try to increase his score you will try to increase your score so basically this is asking what is the maximum score that you can get if both of you play optimally right that's the that's the problem so guys what will actually happen how we will actually solve this problem let's first uh, discuss that so dekho kya hoga na see what will happen na what will happen is ki for example ki this is distributed in such a way that uh, there are let's say n cards right there are n there are like cards with n numbers there are cards with numbers from 1 to n right now what will happen you will have some cards you will have some cards of which both the cards you have for example for number 3 you have both the cards of let's say for number 2 you have both the cards of 2 let's say for number 4 you have both the cards of that let's say for number 7 you have both the cards of that and for some numbers you will be having only a single card so let's say if n is 7 this is the case that you have so to iska matlab kya hai ki when n is 7 you have two cards of number 2 two cards of number 4 two cards of number 7 one card of 5 one card of 6 and one card of 1 right this is what you have now what nene has will be just opposite of you she will not have a card of 2 because both of you you have not 4 not 7 she will have one card of 5 because you also have one of 5 one of 6 one of 1 now she will has two of 3 see two of 3 now uh 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 uh wait uh one is there one ho gaya two ho gaya three ho gaya four ho gaya five six ho gaya uh there will be one something left so 7 2 1 2 3 फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन ऐसा कैसे हो रहा है कि एक्स्ट्रा आ गया ना सॉरी 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 सो ना इफ दिस विल ऑल्सो हैव टू कार्ड्स ऑफ सिक्स सो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स हाँ जी इट वी टू कार्ड्स ऑफ सिक्स एंड टू कार्ड्स ऑफ वन सो यू कैन सी बोथ हैव सेवन सेवन कार्ड्स राइट बोथ हैव Seven seven cards. That's the thing. Now, what what do you want to do? See, see, you want that. ये दोनों cards तो तुम्हारे पास हैं. For two, for four, for seven, you already have both of its card. You already have both of its card. That's the obvious thing. Why you already have both of its card? Because because why you have both of its card? Uh uh because. you have like both of its card and because you have both of its card you will get one points for them obviously obviously you will get one points from them theek hai ye to done hai bilkul that you will get one points from each of because dono ke paas hai first you will put one then you will put one you will get one point now for this five and for c for nene also she will get one points for each of them but for five the thing comes ki who will place first who will place first अब देखो सीन क्या है सी द थिंग इज द थिंग इज दैट इफ यू विल फर्स्ट यू नो पुट द कार्ड फाइव 
then nene will put and will get a chance will get a point but you don't want nene to get a point so what you will do you will put all your cards that you have only once at the last at the very last after placing all these cards which you have twice and same nene will do nene will also place that card first which she has twice and then these card which she has only once right so dekho hoga kya ki here if you will see the card that i has twice are six card two of two two of four two of seven and nene also have six card so means both will tie and you will also have three points means basically you have three point because you cannot get point of this but in some case you will have extra edge how see for example if there are 10 cards uh, if let's say n is 5 and the cards or let's say n is 6 theek hai so basically there are 12 cards let's say cards that you have are two cards of 2 2 two cards of 1 2 cards of 2 2 two cards of 3 uh okay wait यार ये क्या हो रहा है मेरे साथ इसमें भी क्या इसका आउटपुट जो है आउटपुट ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम इजेंट इट एन बाय टू इजेंट इट जस्ट एन बाय टू वो सिर्फ एन बाय टू है क्या वेट ऐसा ना हो भाई हम्म नहीं ऐसा नहीं है बट द थिंग इज कि अगर बिकॉज सेवन सेवन कार्ड्स आर इक्वली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड सो इफ आई हैव सम कार्ड्स सिंगल टाइम तो सेम कार्ड्स दैट विल आल्सो हैव सिंगल टाइम्स ना या बेसिकली Okay, wait. Let me check. The the output will be always n by two, I guess. Answer will always be n by two because equal cards will be there. Now, for example, let's say that if ah, uh, no, 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 it will not be n by two. It will not be n by two. So the output will be the output will be the number of cards this uh, has twice. अच्छा ओके 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 लेट्स लेट्स इग्नोर ऑल ऑफ दैट एक्चुअली आई एम वेरी कन्फ्यूज इन टू डेज कॉन्टेस्ट पता नहीं क्या हो गया है ओके वी वर डूइंग राइट ओके वी वर डूइंग राइट नाउ सी गाइस लेट्स हैव अ अनदर ऑप्शन लेट्स से व्हाट आई हैव एंड व्हाट नैने हैज ओके सी अब लेट्स से आई हैव टू कार्ड्स ऑफ वन टू कार्ड्स ऑफ टू लेट्स से एन इज सिक्स एंड देन वन वन कार्ड्स ऑफ दिस रिमेनिंग ओके नाउ व्हाट नैने विल हैज uh nene will have one card of 3 one card of 1 and then two two cards of this so in this case the output will be right na ki pehle aap ye char cards so first you will put these four cards nene will put this four cards then you will put three she will put three you will put four she will put four so again the output will be this only what is this this is basically the number of uh, uh cards that you have twice यही आपका आउटपुट होगा आई गेस दिस थिंग विल नेवर हैपन राइट मैं एक थिंग यही किया है इन्होंने सो व्हाट डी डिड इज ही फाउंड द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ दैट ईच नंबर राइट नाउ फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ कि कौन सा कार्ड कितनी बार प्रेजेंट है एंड ऑब्वियसली हाँ यार यही होगा सिंपल होगा नथिंग अगेन इतना लॉज लगाने की जरूरत ही नहीं थी it this much logic was not required simply the output will be the number of cards that this uh, you contains twice that will be your output aapke paas jitne cards do baar present hain you can only get that much points you cannot get more than that point because you are playing the first chance whenever you will put a card nene will also put the same card because she also has won the same card and she will win so again the output will be n by 2 so let me conclude one thing the solution for the first problem was simply minimum of n comma a0 and the solution of the second problem was simply the count of cars 
that are present twice how many cards are there which are present twice simple nothing else man kya ho gaya bhai ye what i did and same thing i did in the third problem also third problem was also very 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 easy but what i did is very bad right dekho what i did in first so the problem was basically that you have a uh, grid of size n into n okay you have a grid of size n into n let's create let's say this is of size 5 into 5 and is equal to 5 here initially it is empty or maybe it is zero i'm not sure now what you have to do is you can uh, place some permutation from 1 to 5 in each row or each column of it so when you will do it in a row that is a type of one operation let's say let's say for example you inserted a permutation 1 2 3 4 5 5 in the row number 3 so it will become like this and you have to print also all the uh, all the operation that you did so this operation will be written as 1 because it is a type one operation because you did it in the row now in which row you have did third row and then this permutation which is 1 2 3 4 5 you have to print all the operations like this let's say if you will do a operation on the column it will be operation number 2 this is column number 2 and then the permutation so this is how all the all the operations you have to print at the last okay and also you have to print the final maximum sum that you can get and the number of operation that you did okay so guys i all i did around eight wrong summation eight nine wrong summation for this problem i was thinking right if you will see my code uh, if you will see my first code okay how i am finding the sum here you can see how i am finding the sum here and how this right solution is finding the sum here is absolutely similar exactly similar बट मैं गलती क्या कर रहा था एक्चुअली में आई वॉज इम्प्लीमेंटिंग इट इन अ वेरी 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 रॉन्ग वे दैट इज वाई आई गॉट नाइन रॉन्ग समीशन एट अरवाइज दिट्स टूर ऑल्सो भी डन ईजली राइट सो आई विल हैव अ वेरी रेटिंग डाउन टू गाई सी हाउ इट विल बी फिल्ड सो दैट वी हैव अ मैक्सिमम सम हाउ दिस ग्रिड विल बी फिल्ड आई होप दैट यू गॉट द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इफ नॉट प्लीज रीड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट फ्रॉम देर ओके इट नॉट इट इट्स नॉट मस्ट डिफिकल्ट द सिंपल प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इज दैट यू कैन डू टू टाइप ऑफ टू टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेशन फर्स्ट इज टाइप वन ऑपरेशन वेयर इन अ रो you have to put that permutation and type 2 operation is in a column you have to put right what you will actually do is that you will start from the last row and last column so for the last row first of all you will put permutation 1 2 3 4 5 then for the last column what you will do you will put the same 1 2 3 4 5 so first last row last column 1 2 3 4 okay now what you will do for the last second row last second column One, two, three, four, and this will become five now. You have overwritten, and same here. One, two, three, four, and this will become five. Now for the last, so this is how you will go on. One, two, three, four, and five will come here, and now here. So one, two, three, and then four and five will come here. Now this and this. So one. Two, three, four, five, and here, one, two, three, four, five. Now here, one, then two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. Okay. now you will ask that sir how you got this it's a particularly observation based thing actually i i did the same in my implementers if you will see i solved a lot and did the same thing in my paper i was doing the same exactly same but this logic actually here we are doing alternate first the last row and last column then last second row last second column i was doing a different way i was doing first all the rows then the columns and all of that very complex code i was writing logic was same sum was same, everything was same but my implementation was wrong so this this whole contest was a observation based contest and that's it nothing else right so ab you can see that is what we were doing and if you will see the sum of this sum kya hoga iska so you can see one is present one times two is present three times three is present five times four is present seven times five is present 11 times so basically in other words we can say that the ith number is present 
टू इन टू आई प्लस वन माइनस वन टाइम सी यू कैन सी तो टू जो है वो थ्री इंटू टू माइनस वन फाइव टाइम्स सॉरी यार क्या कर रहा हूँ मैं टू हाँ सॉरी नॉट आई प्लस वन सिंपली इंटू टू सो जो नंबर आई है वो टू आई माइनस वन टाइम्स प्रेजेंट है तो जो जगह टू है वो टू इंटू टू माइनस वन थ्री टाइम प्रेजेंट है इट इज प्रेजेंट थ्री टाइम्स राइट नंबर थ्री इज प्रेजेंट फाइव टाइम्स नंबर फोर इज प्रेजेंट सेवन टाइम्स सो एवरी नंबर इज प्रेजेंट टू आई माइनस वन टाइम एंड दिस इज हाउ ऑल द नंबर फ्रॉम वन टू एन आर प्रेजेंट सो फॉर फाइनिंग सम वॉट आई एम डूइंग आई एम रनिंग लू फ्रॉम वन टू सेवन एंड फॉर ऑल द नंबर दे आर प्रेजेंट टू आई माइनस वन टाइम एंड द नंबर आई इज प्रेजेंट उनका सम कितना हो जाएगा सम विल बी आई इंटू टू आई माइनस वन आई एम टेकिंग द होल सम नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन विल बी टू एन बिकॉज फॉर ईच रन ईच कॉलम वी आर डूइंग दिस ऑपरेशन ऑल्टरनेटिवली सो नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन विल बी टू एन एंड हाउ द ऑपरेशन विल बी डन सो फर्स्ट फॉर ऑल द कॉलम सो फॉर ऑल द रोज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द बैक सी फर्स्ट द लास्ट कॉलम फॉर द लास्ट कॉलम बोथ द टाइप्स ऑफ द ऑपरेशन विल डन फर्स्ट टाइप वन ऑपरेशन विल बी डन ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉलम एंड परमिटेशन विल बी ऑलवेज वन टू एन वन टू एन विल बी परमिटेशन Now the same for the same column type two operation will be done with the same permutation. Now for the last second column this will do. Okay, so this is a very easy code that it has written. Uh, this was actually a good contest, a very good contest. I think maybe I I didn't participate in a fully concentrated manner. I was actually outside and I came and all of that. But yeah, overall the contest was not good for me. But the contest was really good. Problems were really good. They were easy. just the overall contest was observation based it was a overall observation based contest right so that's the thing guys i hope that you have got the understanding of this particular uh, contest if you have any doubt you can comment that down or you can also join the telegram right cool